After news that one of Newark's largest shelters would shutter, many of the city's homeless feared they would have nowhere to go. Well, two months later, a plan to house some of the most vulnerable was unveiled, and WMBC's Casey Lopez has the details. Essex County accounts for nearly a quarter of the state's homeless population. So when Newark announced it would shut a temp homeless shelter, the backlash was swift. The city really only has the authority to do this when there's a cold blue uh, and a cold red. We only have the authority to open up a shelter at those points. Today, the city announced it is seeking to provide shelter services year round rather than just during times of extreme weather. They intend to do this by funding multiple sheltering organizations instead of contracting with a single organization during months of extreme cold or heat. Our initial response in need is to get those individuals who are in the shelter uh, out into a secure uh, housing location, get them jobs, etc. The newly unveiled plan comes two months after news that 224 Sussex Avenue would cease to provide shelter for homeless men, women and families. The four story code blue shelter served as an extreme weather shelter that offered on site referral and placement, assisting for housing, employment, substance abuse and mental health counseling, as well as showers and laundry, even hot meals. Since we uh, opened the shelter in December 2017, we have witnessed 30,804 bed nights total uh, since the opening, uh, about 2,363 bed nights in July uh, and 238 unduplicated persons in July, meaning we had 238 people who came in there uh, at least once. Uh, who were not duplicated. But the decision to shut down 224 Sussex had residents asking, where will the homeless around Newark Penn be forced to go? Today, a sigh of relief from many. That shelter will remain open through August. We've extended that, uh, you know, because the, you know, Mother Nature has extended the winter uh, and, and, and extended the summer, the heat. And so we were able to use that as emergency uh, to be able to continue to operate a shelter and get money to do that. While the city asserts 224 was always a temporary solution to a very stagnant issue in Newark, offering brief shelter during the tough winter and sweltering summer months, they say their new plan will offer an expanded strategy to address chronic homelessness. This will be a year round um, sheltering responsibility that will not be for just one entity. It will be for a multitude. Our goal is to have many providers providing this service. And again, it's providing the finance for them to address this specific population, those who are on the street. Over a six month period, more than 30,000 people have stayed at the 400 person shelter, which has been open 24 hours, seven days a week. Now the city of Newark hopes their new plan will put more of a concrete lid on an issue that has inundated the county. Reporting for WNBC News, I'm Casey Lopez in Newark, New Jersey.